Welcome back, everyone. Crews continue to search for the body of a Monroe County man. WTVH Chelsea Brown is live in Monroe County with what events led up to that search. I am right outside of Amory now, where Monroe County Sheriff's deputies late last week responded to a burnt vehicle. Now, right now behind me, you can see some of that burnt charredness still on the roads and some of the debris from the car around the roadway. And I did speak with Sheriff Kevin Crook about the what is still left of the vehicle. He said there is nothing left but the frame of the car. And now that car did belong to Jack Cowan, a missing man who has not been seen or heard from since the day before of the car fire. Now the car fire did lead an investigation as to where Cowan is. And now leading in on that investigation over the weekend, they started narrowing down on a few suspects. After speaking with members of the community, individuals provided enough evidence to make arrests in connection to the murder of Jack Cowan. Uh, our prayers going out to the family, and uh, again, just we we want to we appreciate their patience. December twentieth, Monroe County Sheriff Department arrested Brian Hoover and charged him with arson and murder. Judge Sarah Stevens denied his bond. Monday, deputies arrested Kayla Johns and charged her with accessory to murder. The judge set her bond as one hundred thousand dollars. Today, the Monroe County Sheriff Department tracked down Tommy Randolph to Birmingham, Alabama. Where they arrested him with the help of Jefferson County Sheriff Department. According to Monroe County Sheriff Kevin Crook, the two male suspects were in a halfway house together in Simpson County before coming to Monroe County. The two male suspects, we know that one of them has known Jack before. The female suspect was in a relationship with Mr. Cowan at the time that he went missing. Authorities are still looking for the body of Jack Cowan. Narrowed the, the location down, and I really think it's just a matter of, matter of time, hopefully by the end of the day. Deputies are still working the case, and there could be more charges to come. Live in Monroe County, Chelsea Brown, WTVA 9 News.